You know, I talked to you dudes uh, a little bit ago. Welcome back to the basement. I talked to you dudes a little bit ago about uh, your hands. I think the title of that episode was something like Hands On or something like that. I was down here hitting balls earlier today. And I don't know. Things just weren't jiggy, you know? So I said to myself, I said, dude, why don't you put your hands on that club so you can hit the ball? And why don't you stand up to that ball so you can hit it? And if you stand up to it like you want to hit it, and if you hold it so you can use it as a tool, How tough can it be? And that thing was almost a shank, by the way. I was going to try to get away with that, but, yeah, no bullshit. Yeah, I did it again. I must have got, you know, I must have got hypnotized there. You know, I got to the thing where you guys are watching me. And I got hypnotized, and I forgot what I was trying to do. What I was trying to do is make this ball go out that way. That's three in a row. Hi, I'm Goff Dude in the basement. Welcome back. No, geez. Okay, come on. Hit the ball. There it is. Hmm. Okay, that's, that's a good playing lesson, though, right there. I'm talking to you guys about how hitting a ball, and I shank three in a row. I hit it off the neck three times in a row. All these, this month's, this month's group of episodes is about how we're all hypnotized. And the name of this episode is Captain Dave Gnosis. Now, I don't know if you remember, you should, but Captain Dave is like my best golfing buddy. You know, we go back, hell, 30-some years now. And, uh, yeah, I love the guy to death. But he's a real pain in the ass when it comes to golf. He talked me into going down to Roanoke to play in a two-man tournament two or three years ago, something like that, at Hidden Valley Country Club. Yeah, it's better. There's an episode there, and it's called Frame. I bet it's been it's been jiggling around up here for a while. Frame, frame. Remind me of that, Mrs. Peel. Yeah, you're back, looking good. You're back. Remind me of that frame. Okay. Me and Captain Dave were playing this tournament at Hidden Valley, and. Uh, You'll pro you may remember, you probably won't remember, but you may remember I talked about my time up on the range of Hidden Valley getting set for this, and I found my swing. And it was my Hogan move, and it was really good, and I played really good that day. Well, we're on the second hole, okay? Well, no, let me get it. We're, we're, hitting, we're hitting on the range, and we're on top of the range, hitting out sort of toward the course, but they got this, you know, they got this area quarting off for the range, and... We're hitting our range, we're hitting our range balls down there, and you know everything everything's jigging. Well, we tee off, and uh, I hit a monster drive. But I hit a little bit early. It went left. I hit wedge under the green. Captain Dave hit a drive right down the pike. Hit wedge under the green. I think maybe three or four feet away. I believe he made his damn birdie putt. We we get up on the second tee, and I'm feeling good. Second tee is a par four uphill, you know, 390, something like that, you know, nothing to get scared of. There's that right shit again. Uh, nothing to get scared of. And I, uh, I hit a great drive. Hit a great drive. I killed it. 
In fact, after I hit the drive, I actually walked up to Captain Dave and I told him that I thought I zen the drive. And when I said zen, I meant because when, you, when you're zen in it, distance really doesn't come into play and you just hit the ball as far as you want to. And I thought that I did it on that drive. I hit the drive as far as I wanted to. That's a whole nother episode. Well, anyway, Captain Dave, he hits his ball good, hits it solid, but he hits it a little bit left. He comes over the top, hits it a little bit left, he draws a little bit, and he goes into a fairway bunker. Now, remember, the title of this episode is Captain Dave Gnosis, okay? We're hypnotized. We're all hypnotized. I'm trying to give you some examples to help you get the fuck out of it. So listen to me. I'm in the fairway about, I want to say 135 yards to a back right pin uphill. Not real uphill, but you know, maybe 10 degrees uphill, 15 degrees uphill, something like that. And Captain Dave's in the fairway bunker, and he might have, I don't know, 150, 160 yards. That's so easy to do. I mean, why would you, why would you not want to do that? I don't know. Yeah, like 150, 160 yards to the uh, pin. Now, this hole is running basically perpendicular to the boundary of the of the driving range that we just got off. Okay. Now, I just heard recently John Daly got this DQ to the tournament. I don't know where, someplace over in Europe or Japan, someplace like that. And and before he got DQ'd, he had hit the wrong ball out of a bunker. Okay, you know where I'm going with this. Captain Dave's ball was in a bunker. Captain Dave's ball was in the bunker. I'm standing there in the fairway, you know, and I got a chance to challenge his pin if my partner, Captain Dave, just gets the ball up around a green someplace. And this is a tournament that we can actually compete in. He's birdied the first hole. We're on the second hole. I'm licking my chops with like a 9-9 or an 8-iron in my hand, and he's back there in the bunker, and I know he can do something. Well, he gets up over a shot, and he hits his shot, and he kills it. And Captain Dave isn't the best from a fairway bunker, but he kills his ball. And I'm up there watching. And his ball was flying right at the pin, and it's just like a little bit, maybe a little bit deep and right of the pin or something like that. But it's an excellent shot. I'm turning around. To, I'm in the fairway here. I'm turning around to congratulate the captain. And I turn around, and he's there, and, he, and he's saying, what? He has his hands out, and what? What? What do you do? What do you mean, what do you do? You go up and you make a puff of birdie. What do you mean, what do you do? What? You hit the wrong ball out of the bunker. Are you fucking me? Come on. And up at the green, one of the guys in the other team, he has his hands out like, what are you doing? And I don't understand that right away. But then I look back at Captain Dave. I said, well, you've, you've got to play your ball. So he plays his ball, and I forget where that damn ball was. So Captain Dave played the wrong ball out of that bunker. He was hypnotized. How can you go into a bunker and not identify your ball? How can you possibly hit another ball out of the bunker? The bunker wasn't that big. You had to see that there was two balls there. I mean, I'm pissed at Captain Dave. I'm still pissed at Captain Dave. I mean, he put me in a very precarious position. But I did step up, and I think I hit my 8 iron at about 15 feet left of the pin. Which was a pretty good shot. So I didn't go on, you know, moaning to Captain Dave that long. But Captain Dave hit the wrong ball out of the bunker because he was hypnotized. Now, I can hear you guys out there right now. You're saying, hey, dude, don't be so tough on Captain Dave. That's possible. I mean, one of the balls could have been, you know, 
maybe in an elbow of the bunker. You know, he just went up there expecting to see a ball in the bunker. He didn't know there was going to be a range ball in the bunker. And the first ball he saw, maybe the logo was turned over. He just hit the first damn ball he saw. Maybe he was upset because it was in the bunker. Maybe he was upset because he was licking his chops on the tee. You know, it could have been, you know, maybe, you know, he just walked up. First ball, it was, you know, he's hitting it. Boom, he hits it out. Boom. Okay, right. We'll give Captain Dave a break. Slow down there, buffalo breath. One little mistake there. I gotta hit this eight iron shot one more time. Did you see that? That was that right shit again. Come on, man. I wanna go there. There you go. Where was I? Oh, yeah, back to Captain Dave. The fucking ball he hit out of the bunker was fucking yellow. He hit a yellow range ball out of the bunker thinking it was his ball. <laughs> Captain Dave is a good man. Captain Dave is a great family man. Captain Dave is a God-fearing man. Captain Dave was a good golfer. Captain Dave got into that bunker and he couldn't fucking tell if it was his ball or if it was a yellow range ball. I'm telling you a true story. And I have asked Captain Dave many a time since that happening, I said, Captain, what in the fuck were you thinking about? And, and, and in like the most honest way, he will look at me and he'll say, dude, I got no idea. So don't tell me you're not hypnotized. Okay? Don't tell me you're not hypnotized. Uchi mama. You're hypnotized, you have to realize it. You're not a chicken. Wake up. 